Yeah. Now what? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> We're waiting to leave. Yeah. What are we doing here? Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm no longer waiting. <laughs> Headed towards the Bluff Creek film site. Yeah, we will get in as Bees close freaking as, out. as close as we can, and then we will probably walk in the last and mile or so. We're actually following Cliff Barrickman on the way to the Bluff Creek film site. Uh, chalk this off as things that don't suck. Roger and Bob came right here. They saw her to the left. Everything went crazy for a few. She walked off that direction. They chased her. Where Roger filmed her is actually about 15 feet in the air, kind of over above that log laying down. And uh, we can go over there and actually see the log jam in the film, too. It's still there. It's deteriorated, but it's still there. You can ride from Canada to Northern California. All up and down the Cascade Range, but if you go alone, friend, I'm here to warn So they took a, a replica, a cast replica of the Patterson Gimlin film site, Patty, and made an impression on the actual substrate where she walked 50 years ago. My name is Rowdy Kelly. I'm part of the, the Bluff Creek Project, and we are standing actually within a few feet of Patty's path. My name is Kip Morrill, and we are at the Patterson Gimlin film site. And this is where the hunt for the Bigfoot man began. To town and back they went, and they made a plaster cast, 18 inches long from heel to the toe. And from the print that it made, they guessed that it must have weighed 700 pounds or so. You can ride from Canada to Northern California All up and down the Cascade Range But if you go alone, friend, I'm here to warn you Look out for the thing with a big foot name Look out for the thing with a big foot name Now the facts they put together sent chills right up their spines and the search for a lot more information began. And when they told the story and showed these plaster prints, they only grew laughs from strangers as well as friends. Now up through the years, they found a lot more footprints and they gathered sworn statements from a lot of decent-minded folks. But when they took these facts up to the educated experts, it was all disregarded and branded as a hoax. You can ride from Canada to Northern California All up and down the Cascade Range But if you go alone, friend, I'm here to warn you Look out for the thing with the Bigfoot name Look out for the... That was B, by the way. Hi. Who are you and where, where are we at? 
I'm still discovering who I am. I think that's more of a lifetime journey because we're born with no identity whatsoever. And by the time we die, I mean, we have all these ideas about ourselves, but like literally 20, probably 20, 30 minutes after the point of death, all that's been dissolved. So, I mean, how much can one identify oneself with? Like if we're just drops of water, when we enter the ocean, are we still that drop? So really, you're asking really hard questions at this point. Okay, so where are we at? Huh, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Roger and Bob rode out that day Till that log jam got in their way They got lucky on Bluff Creek that day Oh, they got lucky When she walked away Roger and Bob rolled out that day uh, It's 50 years now down the road We want to raise our glasses and celebrate Bob Gimlin and Robert Patterson They shot some film of a big foot there She walked on two legs Was covered in hair Oh, Roger and Bob Had quite a week October 20th, 1967 was also the Friday. A weekend went by. On Monday, Lyle Labrador. 